What is up survivors? Mr. Profanity here and welcome! Our channel is all about bringing you guys ARC tutorial videos in the shortest amount of time with the most accurate information so you can get back to playing ARC. In this video, I will be showing you the best locations to find and farm chitin as well as what tools and dinos you can use to gather the most resources on the map Crystal Isles. For our first and potentially best chitin location, we have Eldritch Isles. Not only is this snowy mountain full with tons of aberrant arthropleuras, dung beetles, and the palmen of Scorpius, but that's not even what makes this place so great for chitin. That's just the cherry on top. What makes this location so great is all of the Carcinos that spawn along the south, east, and north coast. I recommend starting in the south at 35.572.3, right where the Carcino spawns start. What you're going to do is you're going to follow the little floating icebergs going um, east and following the coast the whole way around till you end up in the northwestern part of Eldritch Isles. This is where the Carcino spawn ends. From what I saw, this location has way more Carcinos than the Apotheosis, aka the Floating Isles. And it's not as confusing to get lost, and you don't have to bounce around pond to pond in search of them. Here, you simply follow the coast and kill what you see. Super simple. And the way you do that is with a high level Megatherium. You'll net a ton of chitin from just one Carcinos. Look at how much I got with official stats from just one kill. Imagine a five times, or even imagine a 20 times. Imagine how much chitin you would really get. It would be off the charts. Now, moving on to the next location, the Floating Islands, which is the second best location to farm chitin, in my opinion, of course. As you can see, there's all of these different little ponds down below. Well, they look little from all the way up here, but some are pretty, you know, a pretty decent size. But down in the water, that's where all the Carcinos actually spawn. Typically, I'll see one Carcinos either by himself or two. And at the most I've seen together in the bigger ponds, which is the next location up here, I actually saw four Carcinos here. Um, I did not get the last one into the footage, but he was just, if you see in the top of corner of the screen there, the, the waterfall area, um, that's the, where the fourth guy was hanging out, but he was like just a little bit out of render. But yeah, our next location, um, I think this is the third best location, is Wonder's End, which is mostly known to the players as the desert biome. And this is actually a great spot. You can find this at 84.7, 44.9. And as long as you're in the sandy plains, that's where you can find things like dung beetles, uh, pulmonary scorpius, and arthropleurus. Those are gonna net you all that chitin that you want. And if you're on a megatherium, um, and you get the bug buff, you're gonna pick up speed, you're gonna be moving and grooving, you're gonna get a lot of chitin quickly. And this here is kind of like a little hidden gem. It's like a pass-through tunnel in the Great Forest. Uh, you can find this here at 32.7 and 29.9, and it's so condensed, but it's got a decent amount of bugs, so you could just run through here and get a bunch of chitin. This is perfect for those people who live in the northwest part of uh, Crystal Isles. This makes it very, very simple and uh, achievable to get a quick, good amount of chitin as opposed to going to the other parts of the map. Now, ideally, you're gonna wanna use a Megatherium just because it gets the buff, you get more chitin, you don't get killed, you know, it's like they're not even uh, harmful to you. But if you have to, um, since you just wanna get some quick chitin, pull one of them out, pike it to death, and you can either use the hatchet, but I would recommend if you have access to use the chainsaw, this will still give you a decent amount. And keep in mind that this is official rates I'm showing you. Now this last location here is the Savannah. This was a cool, neat little situation. Like I've never seen these 
objects before, structures, and they're actually harvestable for chitin. Super weird. But you could find this location here at 54.1 and 43.5. And there's several of these things, these structures um, scattered around. Now, I don't want to state the obvious, but they're not harvestable by hand. You can use a pickaxe, but you get barely anything for chitin. The same goes for a hatchet, barely anything. Pull the sickle out, you can't even harvest it. So that's garbage, throw that out. Chainsaw, nope just just goes and, and nothing happens you can use a mining drill you get a little bit more but it completely obliterates it and you almost end up with like next to no chitin so is this area is this location really any good in my opinion it's only okay you can use a doe dick to get a little bit and there's not many of these structures around so it's not that good all in all though guys, the best spots are gonna be the Eldritch Isles off the coast for the Carcinos, as well as Apotheosis, known as the uh, Floating Islands, and then the Desert. And the other two are just kind of throw-in locations, just to give you a different location on the map to go and get some chitin if you're struggling to find any. And that's a wrap guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment so we can keep growing this channel. I'm Mr. Profanity, till the next time. Peace. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time. That is not a guy that I